In fifth grade, we're going to learn how to write remainders as fractions. Good thing to remember is that a fraction is a division problem. Top divided by bottom. It even looks like a division sign. So top divided by bottom. We'll keep this in mind as we do a division problem. We're going to start with 57 divided by 7. We're going to set up the problem as usual in our long division way. And if we remember our facts about 7, we know that 7 will fit into 57 8 times. 8 times 7 is 56, and we have 1 left over. So what are we going to do with this remainder? Well, we're still dividing by 7, so the 7 is going to go in the bottom of our fraction. It's going to be our denominator. We're dividing by 7. What are we dividing by 7? Well, we have 1. We're doing 1 divided by 7, so 1 will go on the top. It'll be our numerator. We're not finished yet. We need to put the 8 there still. Can't forget about the 8. Our final answer is 8 and 1 7th. Let's do another problem. First, let's remember that a fraction is a division problem. And likewise, a division uh, problem can be turned into a fraction. This time we have 49 divided by 3. We're going to set up our problem. Put the 49 in the box. 3 fits into 4 one time. 1 times 3 is 3. Subtract. Get 1. Bring down the 9. 3 fits into 19 6 times. Again, we have a leftover of 1. So what do we do with this? Well, we're dividing 1 by 3. So we'll put 3 on the bottom and 1 on the top. Our fraction part will be 1 third. Our complete answer will be 16 and 1 third.